or no? Are you in charge here? We don't really operate that way, but I can act as that sort of figure if you require it of me. How might I help? What do you call this place? The village doesn't have a name. It's just where we Rishi live. Rishi or otherwise, anyone living here chooses when and for how long of their own accord. I suppose now that we've left Raiders Cove, you're going to start complaining about them instead of the pirates. You cleared the path well, and made a friend. I am called Arenkow. The other inhabitants on this island, are you in contact with them? Do you know what they're up to? If an individual Rishi chooses to get involved with others, that's that Rishi's choice. Otherwise, we tend to see no reason to inquire. These other inhabitants, they have also kept to themselves. Strangely, their encampment appears to be segregated. One group looks like her, the other is less... intense. If they have more of you in their roster, I might be joining the Revenites. You flatter me. If their Sith Lords are anywhere near as deadly as Lana, we're in deeper trouble than when we almost became fish food on Manan. So, there's a camp for Imperial traitors and one for Republic Revenites. And they're not exactly friends. This may provide an opportunity, either to extract atonement for their deception or to employ a little deception of our own. It's an opportunity to thin the ranks, is what it is. Your zeal for making heads roll never ceases to surprise me, D4. But don't worry yourself, it may yet come to that. I'll take a closer look at these Revenite camps. And we'll attempt to establish a better grasp of their activities. I hope we can establish where Agent Shan is being held. As do I. We, Rishi, would be grateful for your help around the village. If you choose to provide it, of course. Savor your travels. Be patient, Sergeant, but be ready. As soon as we have word from Revan, our work begins. Lord Ivris, sir, there's... it's... It's you, the Imperial Ghost. We're found out. I suppose Darth Maar sent you to fight his battle for him. Seems his usual way. No, better still. You learned about us and thought Maar could be in on it. You're here on your own. We have the upper hand. You might think you're in a position of strength. But this very second, your Republic friends are plotting to take you down. Like me, they are resolute in their beliefs. They won't falter. Meaning you don't even have a contingency plan in place. What if the sworn enemies camped right next to you decide to revert to type? If I may say, my lord, he does make a convincing argument. It does seem we've been less than a step ahead for some time now. Our position at our heels and in the shadows. You'll get no further resistance from me. I can't vouch for every last Imperial Revenite, of course, but I can speak for those present. What do you intend to do about the others? Captain Milanek and his subordinates? I'll have my people look into your claims. You may well be right about them. There have been reports of skirmishes in the area. I want you to stay alert for anything out of the ordinary. Such as? By the stars! Be ready to fire on my mark! You should be more worried about the saboteurs Lord Ivris ordered to infiltrate your camp. Nice try, but I don't buy it. Ivris wouldn't turn against the cause. Ivris asked me to help him, but I'm looking after the greater good. You're a Revenite? I thought I would have been informed. Go! Get everyone on the lookout for movement from the Imperials! Ivris must be looking around for Theron Shan, to use him against you somehow. What? No, he's well aware that Shan's in the Valley Stronghold. I'm gonna have words with Ivris when this is all over, I'll tell you that. I'd recommend letting your blaster do the talking for you. Yeah, yeah, I just might do that. Thanks for the warning. Lana, Theron's being held in a valley stronghold. Could be Revan is there as well. I have D4 see what the Rishi know about it. We'll work out a plan of attack once you've returned.
I've never met a people quite like the Rishi. Pragmatic, accommodating, reasonable. If it wasn't for the climate, I'd consider staying. I haven't had any problems with them so far. Always be at least a little guarded. Not the worst way to live, considering all the betrayal on display. As I mentioned earlier, I did acquire some information worth noting. Rishi observations surrounding the Revanite stronghold fit what we know. They're holding powerful warships on standby, and they're well protected. Did any of the Rishi see Theron? No, all we know is what you were told, that he's been taken there. We've been unable to reach the Imperial fleet nearing Rishi, but I can confirm from the Nova Blades data logs that Darth Mars' flagship is among them. There's far more at stake here than the life of one Dark Counselor. Fair enough. If that's how you feel, I merely thought you'd want to be fully informed. Press on. Stall their ships if you can, and we'll do what we can from here to reach the fleet and lend support as needed. <laughs> I'm no pushover, but you aren't joking. We do hope Agent Shan is recovered. Yes. Preferably alive. Now go show the Revanites, and, fate willing, Revan himself, why you are not to be trifled with. I'm starting to get the hang of slicing. Theron's influence, I suppose. Give me one second. There. A hollow record of Theron under interrogation. Coordinates are coming your way. And Revan. No indication he's there, but no indication he isn't either. I wouldn't let my guard down. Revan. I should have known the Empire would send one of its lapdogs to try and find me. You should never have bothered. What have you done with Theron? Theron Shan's fate doesn't matter. Neither does yours. I'm changing the fate of the galaxy itself. All I see is you trying to destroy everything. I'm not waging some war with the Empire and Republic. I'm saving countless lives, and you keep getting in the way. The only upside in your being here, really, is that you get to bear witness. My plan's too far along for you to stop it now. Don't listen to him. It's not over yet. Are you okay? But I lost you for good there. Yeah, sorry. Almost made it out the front door when I saw you'd shown up to rescue me. Should have known you would. Don't know how much Lana or Revan told you. But he's lured the Imperial and Republic command fleets to Rishi. Revan wants to draw them into a fight. Try to take out the leadership. It'll barely be a fight. Revanites embedded on both sides are gonna sabotage shields, weapons, you name it. And we can't warn them. Revan had the Nova Blades build him a signal jammer. No communications at all up in Rishi space. It'll be a bloodbath. One call to Jakaro and no more signal jammer. The Revanites got that thing protected. You send Jakaro out there, and he and D4 become part of the landscape. This place is coming down. Soon. You could have joined me, Theron. Understandably, you're as tenacious as I ever was. Goodbye. Hello? Are you there? Lana, what just happened? I appear to have sliced through four layers of encryption to remotely deactivate the power core. Just in the nick of time. Don't know if I could have managed that even. Theron, good to know you're alive. I heard everything, about the jammer, all of it. We need to regroup for an immediate attack. Whatever happens, be proud of what we've accomplished up to now. See you soon. All right. Take it easy, I'm not exactly 100%, and you're not exactly gentle. Oh, good! The team's back together again. All thanks to you for saving Theron, of course. He was practically out the door all on his own. <coughs> Theron, you have the intelligence on this signal jammer. You start. Right. The intelligence I gathered in the company of several interrogation probes while being held against my will? Jammer's on a nearby island. You've probably seen it. 
Can't be sliced remotely. Lots of Revanite zealots protecting it. The usual hopeless nightmare, basically. It's important we shut this jammer down. I should have backup. We may not be with you physically, but we do all have our roles to play. Whether we agree to play them or not, apparently. Time's running short. You know what to do. It's what you always do. Triumph. I don't know if you can read me, but I've arrived. We read you. Can anyone read me? I'm here, and you are on Rishi. Darth Maul, you have traitors in your fleet. Scores of them acting under orders from Revan. Revan is alive. He wants you to destroy each other out there. Have the fleet powered down all weapons. Do it now. Your people should have a list of the traitors. 
finally an open line. Grandmaster Sean, it appears we have been set upon each other by your ancestor. Yes, we were notified by an agent of ours whose planet side. We're taking measures to detain the traitors among us. As are we. Given the nature of the threat, I suggest we speak in person. Very well. A neutral location. There's a pirate town on Rishi. My team will send the coordinates. That will do. Isn't this interesting? Did I miss any especially lively topics? In fact, we were just wrapping up. Satil Shan, Grand Master of the Jedi Order. Your intervention allowed us to defend ourselves against the Revanite fleet. Many thousands owe their lives to your actions. And the all-encompassing rot of the Order of Revan has been excised from our fleets. Now, we turn to the matter of Revan himself. My agent here has discovered that Revan's on the fourth moon of Yavin, where he believes the last spark of the Sith Emperor resides. Revan intends to return the Emperor from the brink of death, so he may finally be destroyed. You told her about the Emperor, that he isn't dead. Yes, I did. The Emperor is not the being he once was. He now hungers for the end of life itself. He would consume us all. In resurrecting the Emperor, Revan believes he will succeed where others have failed. But the Emperor will prove far too powerful for Revan or anyone else. Darth Maher and I will be leading a joint strike force on Yavin 4 to put an end to Revan's plan. I hope you'll join us. As do I. For the Empire and for the galaxy. That went surprisingly well, I think. Yeah. It's nice to see the Empire and Republic can work together without stabbing each other in the back. It was the right move arranging for your capture. We've succeeded, haven't we? Unbelievable. Where's the trust, huh? Did it go wander off someplace, or was it never there to start with? It happened, it's over, it's in the past. Let it go. Oh, yes, it's virtually constant. Isn't there anything else you wanted first? Yes. Will that be all? Lana, I think it's time Theron and I got to know each other a little better. I see. Then I suppose I'll m make myself useful somewhere. I believe Miss Benico was implying that like, I am not worthless. Not entirely. I love it. She calls me her agent. Like it's sheer coincidence we have the same name. Though it's not like Master Satil raised me, or like we do any mother-son stuff. Just an odd way to refer to your kid, you know? What do you expect? Jedi aren't exactly the sentimental types, and she's head Jedi. Yeah, I hear you. Conned a lot of Imperial agents with phony backstories over the years. Here I am telling you the straight-up truth. I'm the enemy. At least, I will be again if we live through it all. Gotta say, though, I've enjoyed this while it's lasted. It has had its charm, hasn't it? Well, you could say that. He said if I ever kissed an imp, I'd spontaneously implode. Maybe by the time we reach Yavin 4. Not the most subtle hint, but yeah, we need to get going. I'll have Jakaro plot a route to Yavin 4. Who knows? Maybe if we ask nice, Revan will stop. <laughs> 